a very disturbing report from Uttar Pradesh, a UP man who spent 20 years in prison in a rape case before being pronounced innocent by the Allahabad High Court in January this year, finally walked out of Agra Central Jail earlier uh, yesterday and has headed home to the, his village in the state's Lalitpur district that borders Madhya Pradesh. Now, Vishnu Tiwari, who's now 43 years old, was arrested on September 16, 2000 and booked for rape and atrocities under the SCST Act. In 2003, he was convicted by a court in Lalitpur for rape and sentenced to 10 years rigorous imprisonment and was further convicted under the SCST Act and sentenced to life imprisonment. All the sentences were to run concurrently as per the directions of the trial court. So what can we do? We are tired of it. We are tired of it. No one was listening to it. No one was listening to it. No one was listening to it. We are tired of 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 it. तो हम बताओ क्या करें हम एक भाई है हमारा छोटा वो भी मानसिक तनाव में रहने लगा है शादी नहीं करी उसने all right, well, let's go across to NDTV's Alok Pandey now for more. And Alok, while we know that, you know, India's justice system is far from perfect, but this is an absolutely shocking case. 20 years this man has spent in jail. What are the details? How was he finally acquitted? Well, he was uh, finally acquitted, Santi Vaita High Court. And I want to read out uh, the two excerpts from the rather exhaustive judgment by the court. And it says that in view of the facts and evidence on record, we are convinced that the accused has been wrongly convicted. Hence, the judgment and order in front is reversed and the accused is acquitted. It also says that the factual data goes to show that there are several contradictions in the examination in the case as well as cross-examination of all the three witnesses in the case. It also says that the doctor, way back in 2000, had categorically given an opinion that no signs of possible sexual intercourse were found. This was also based on the finding that there were no internal injuries on the lady who was uh, on the lady who had accused them of rape. Uh, it also then says that uh, you know the state government as, it, as well as the central government should commute sentences as mentioned in the Code of Criminal Procedure. And it says that we are paying to execute this for 14 years. The state ministry for exercising its power for commutation of the sentence of life imprisonment of the present accused. It says this case should have been considered, but has not been considered. So, I mean, just imagine that these are the findings of a high court, and this case went through the system, uh, through a court in Lalitpur, perhaps, which had convicted him in 2003, and the same evidence must have been presented there also. And here, the judges of the Allahabad High Court have a totally different interpretation of the same set of evidence that perhaps the lower court and the police found differently. This man has spent 20 years in jail. When he went to jail, he was around 20, 23. Today, he is 43 years old. And in his own words, we just heard him talk about how, you know, his family has been destroyed. He could not marry. His mother died. His younger brother has not got married, etc., etc. I mean, this is exactly the kind of doomsday scenario that one hopes that one will not go through. I mean, imagine, Raji, you and I having to spend two decades in jail for something that we never did, at least in the eyes of the court now. And this is just... Terrible. So, I mean, will this stop at this or perhaps a higher court, maybe the Supreme Court, somebody to take a look at how something like this happens, how a case like this can fall through the cracks, even after 14 years, why this man was not granted any remission of sentence, things like those that the High Court has raised. Maybe it's time for us to take a greater look at all of this, because otherwise people like Vishnu Tewari, I mean, they will keep on popping up now and then, and it's just terrible uh, what has happened. He boarded a train last night. Uh, our reporter there was there. Uh, he helped them board the train to Lalitpur, so he must have got to his village by now, I would assume. All right, uh, Alok, unimaginable uh, injustice really to Vishnu Tiwari.